Hi right, guys, Dave here, and today I'm going to show you the guitar solo to The Final Countdown by Europe. Uh, I've recently had to learn this for an 80s show, so uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys. Okay, um, it starts with an arpeggio figure. It's uh, in the key of B minor, so it starts on a B minor arpeggio. Now it's interesting this because it's got a little bit of a polyrhythm going on. Um, you've got two sixteenth notes and then two thirty second notes. And then you just kind of superimpose that over divisions of four. So what happens is, is each time that you play it, it starts on a different part of the beat. You'll hear it more clearly when I show you the kind of slowed down version of it. Anyway, those notes are 12 on the B, 10 on the E, and then we're going to pull off 14 to 10 on the E. So that's the basic pattern. Um, and then you just kind of repeat that over the beat. Like that. Um, I pick it, I start with an upstroke. You can do this any way you like, but I tend to go, I tend to go up, down, and then up, and then start the whole thing again on an up. So I'll leave that up to you though, but that's the way I do it. Okay, uh, the next arpeggio is over an A chord, and this kind of spells out more of an A7. So it's the same kind of pattern, the notes are 14 on the B, 12 on the E, and then pulling off 15 to 12 on the E. Like that. Okay, then the next one's going to be over a D chord. Those notes are 15B, 14E, and then pulling off 17 to 14 on the E. Don't do quite as many on this one. You kind of stop at the top of the pattern as well. So that buys you a little bit of time to get down to the next one. I'm going to basically play the same pattern, but this time it's going to be over a G chord. So this time it's going to be 8 on the B, 7 on the E, and then pulling off 10 to 7 on the E. So you just basically play the pattern twice this time. And then I'm going to put two notes on the end of that pattern, which are going to be 8 and 10 on the B. Then we get this little rundown. So that is first set of notes, seven E, and then it's 10, eight, seven on the B. Then we go back and we play 10, eight, seven again. Then roll over, play seven on the G, and then finish off on nine. Okay, next phrase. So on the uh, on the eighth fret of the of the B, we're gonna play it three times, just go down, up, down on the pick. Then we're gonna do a little hammer pull off, seven, eight, seven on the B. And then nine, seven on the G. And then we get, we're going to play seven again on the G. Then we're going to, we're going to play six, but we're going to scoop the arm down and bring the arm up. So we pick it while 
the arm slightly depressed and bring up once you've picked it bring the arm back up to pitch you're going to do the same thing on the D string on frets 9 and then 7 like so okay Okay, and then we get this really nice kind of bluesy pentatonic lick. So it starts, uh, bend up a tone on the tenth fret of the B. Next bit we're going to go 7E, 7B, then 10B. We're going to bend up a tone from the ninth fret of the G. Then we're going to go 7B, 7E. Then we're going to pull off 10, 7 on the B. And then we're going to go down a half step, pull off 9 and 6 on the B. So. And then we're going to go 7B, 7G. Then we're going to play on the G string, we're going to go 10, pull off 9 to 7. Then 9 on the D, 9 on a G, back to 9 on the D. 7 9 on the G. That's it, like that. Okay, then we're back into our arpeggio figure again. So I'm not going to go for all of that again, but it. Just like before. All of that is the same. The little rundown coming down is slightly different. So it's going to go down. The first four notes are the same. So we've got 7, E, and then 10, 8, 7 on the, on the B. But this time, he does this. He does two on the 10th fret of the B, then 8, 7. Landing on nine on the G. Like that. Then we get this little phrase again. So that's down, up, down on the fret eight of the B. Little hammer pull off seven, eight, seven. And then nine and seven on the G. And then the end phrase. So I just bend release on the temp fret of the B, uh, a tone. And seven, nine on the G. Now what I do there is I'm bending up a tone on the ninth fret of the G. Repick it. And then I'm gonna scoop the bar four times. Let the bend back down. Then I'm going to go up to fret 11 on the G. Bend that upper tone. Play 12 on the B and then bend and release. And then drop the arm on the 11th fret of the G. So bend it up and dive bomb basically. There you go, and that's the main solo.
Now let's look at the harmony guitar part that's, that goes along with it. Um, it's mainly done in thirds, so... The first one is basically a harmonization of the B minor triad. So this actually makes it sound a bit more like a, like a B minor seven when you add the harmony. So the same pattern that we used before for the main guitar part. So the notes are 15B, 14E, pulling off 17 to 14 on the E. Like so. I mean, the next part is going to be... So that's um, 17B, 15E, pulling off um, 19 to 15. Right, now this one is um, part of a D major triad. So this is going to be 19 on the B, 17 on the E, and then I'm pulling off from 22 down to 17. And again with this pattern it's slightly shorter than the other two and it ends on the top note. And again, it's just to get back to, there's a bit of a jump to the last arpeggio. So we're back to this one to finish off the arpeggio section. So this is um, 12 on the B, then 10 on the E, pulling off 14 to 10. So again, you, you're only gonna play this pattern twice. And then we're going to play um, 12 and 14 on the B. That finishes off those two beats. And then we get this little harmonized rundown. So for that, that is 10 on the E. And then 14, 12, 10 on the B. Then we go back up and we play 14, 10, sorry, 14, 12, 10 on the B, and then 11, and then 12 on the G. So together. Like that. Um, I'll put that bit together, I think. And then there's going to be a bit of a break while you hear the, the, um, the guitar one play its part. And then it goes back into that harmonized section. Uh, and again, plays all of that again. And then you get to the last arpeggio. Uh, it does the first bit the same. And then the run down is just very slightly different to match the run on the original guitar. So the first four notes are the same. So 10E and then 14, 12, 10 on the B. And then this is a bit that's different. I'm going to go 2 on the 14 on the B. And then 12, 10. Finishing off on 12 on the G. And that's the harmony guitar part. That's, that's all the bits. Okay, guys, I hope you have fun with this one. And I will see you for one real soon.